reason this guy doesn't wear a costume that flatters his body and makes his body look longer. And that, to me, that is bad. You know, just because the time co costume's in, doesn't mean it's in for you individually. I think that, well. You, you do have to know that if the height is more matched, it, it, it could be better for so many things, especially side by side movements, the volume would match. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not a bad thing, it's just not as good as it could be. But we'll deal with that through life. <laughs> So that's not an insurmountable problem. But um, equally matched bodies are easier to look at. The volume is the same, things of that sort. But it doesn't mean that if you're not matched up height-wise that it's a devastation. It's not. It's just not as good as it could be. But we deal with that all the time. I like it. It's like, it, like you. 20 years younger and have hair. <laughs> <laughs> OK. What is the difference between American Samba and International Samba? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I have a lot to say. If American Samba were a competitive dance, now there would be absolutely no difference. Because the technique, the timing, uh, everything about it is the same. And if it were allowed to develop into a competitive dance, there would be no difference. That's what's happening to cha-cha, except for the basics, there is no difference. Except for the leg action and the basic, the variation the variation. So essentially, okay, I, I think if, if American style professionals had a Samba, there would truly be no difference. That's my opinion. I don't know if uh, many people know this, but uh, um, I, don't know, I was at the National Council meeting um, and they were talking about changing the dances in the American style um, <laughs> at the USBC so that the dances would be very, very different. Uh, not dancing American style, but not dancing in American cha-cha, but playing <coughs> gay. And, uh, <laughs>
Oh, yeah, but along those lines, what if the judges are marking the couples that are doing international action? Yeah. yeah. I, I think the That's problem it. problem is having some point of information with the judges so that they will be better informed. Yeah. Because I think until we start marking, quit marking what we don't want to see, it's going to continue to happen because people will fashion themselves after the winners of the leaders. If I could just add to that, that sometimes the international judges are the ones that are most offended by American couples doing international. Yeah. yeah. You want to see the difference. You don't want to see somebody doing something. But you see, it's absolutely amazing to me that if Nikki and Debbie chose to do an international chacha, they're doing their stuff and really whipping it together, and they got together and they decided to go two, three, four, be okay. one, two, and international, they think, oh, that was innovative. Gee, that was rhythmic. You do one bloody, crappy little back break the wrong way in America, and someone has a heart attack. Yeah. Oh gosh. I, uh, uh, you know what I mean though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I have to say one thing real quick first. When I was talking, to, I'm talking to, I've told some of these people here. Also, I was at a competition one time when they had a West Coast swing competition. This is at a ballroom competition. The West Coast swing competition. And the couple that won was doing only jive, okay? which looks nothing like a West Coast swing, by the way. Okay? They're two entirely different dances. And I went up and asked that particular judge why that couple won and, and their, that took their eyes. And the answer to me is, I like their lines better. And I says, why do you leave me? But they weren't doing the dance. She says, but the lines were better. And I says, fine. Next time you have a waltz competition, I'll do fox travel with better lines. That's, how, that's how dumb that is to me. That, that's not a train in that particular field. Maybe great in one other field, but not in that field. I'm too glad we don't just have one judge. Let us know your opinions.
when a Vernon and a Linda or a Ron and Liz or these people can't, couldn't go over there and, I mean, and do what I thought they should do. And the thing is, I don't, I think we have to be a little bit different. I think, uh, it's like I was saying to, to Liz, like in the song, uh, you vote a Bogo, then your contractions and everything, no matter what the speed of the music is, you tend to, to do that. You're able to do that. But when Cha-Cha plays, okay, instead of always getting that four and one, the first thing you, you hear is well because of the speed of the music. Well, I would be, I would keep trying to get that hit movement because they're not doing it over there. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we got to keep, I mean, if you guys can do what I feel is difficult, that contraction, that hip, that this and the boat of Fogo, and you do it great. I, I love to watch you guys do that, to that speed of the music. Why can't we at least get that hip movement, you know, ticking that same way? Because they're not doing it over there. So why can't we be the one, and they always say cha-cha's our dance, you know, the Americans, they feel it that way, but yet, um, it's we a shame that... We don't want to get off on the European structure. Of and you guys are so, you know, it's really, it's really uh, hurts, and I have to judge you six or whoever makes the final, and you're all so wonderful in my eyes. I mean, I, it's, I think you're great, and, it, and I... And you know, there are times when you all dance great. A given dance, for example, can just be, and you must all, once in a while, come off the floor and think, damn, that was good. Yeah, once in a while it just does, doesn't it? And you think that this, if I ever moved up in this dance, it should be the night. Because that, that to me felt terrific, and it doesn't happen. Sometimes you can move back. But it's, it's just amazing. It's a tremendous responsibility. I sleep over after some comps. But I made a rule to myself. And I was a competitor, and I went to Europe. First of all, I used to pay my way to Europe as a world representative, knowing that the best I could ever do over there was break into the final. Maybe the sixth place. If someone fell down and broke their leg or you know, didn't show up, it usually was a tight final. And you simply went there, and you hoped that by I mean you'd won that you'd won the world championship as an American if you came sixth for a while. You know how it was. I mean it was just so tight. And I made a resolution that as I stood back out of the six of so many of those European championships and watched three of those six couples, that now I'm not an egotistical person. I'm a confident person that I knew weren't as good as me and my partner, my partner and I, right? And I just didn't, I didn't think that was fair. And I said, you know, I'm going to make a resolution that when I become an adjudicator of any quality, overseas, America, anything, I'm going to judge how people dance on that given night. I think it has a right to change. I think you should be able to be second in one comp, and fifth in another, fourth in the next, and third in the next, and first in one, and maybe third in the next. I think it could happen. I don't think once someone wins, that's their place and it belongs to them. I really don't. And I try to watch it that time, that way every time I judge. Nick? I agree with Vernon or with what Sam was saying. Um, probably up until just recently, uh, in England, that's, that's been a trait. That yeah. been the champion would be champion and that would be it. They'd get every person was going. Kind of the second couple would kind of the second guy. British, the last two or three years, has been changing, especially yeah, with the, yeah. the retirement of the, the champions. This year in the British, uh, Mr. Donnie Burns um, won the first two dances. The crowd were not going for him. Suddenly he started, his performance in my eyes and a lot of other people's eyes started to slip a little bit. And the other three dances were taken by Sammy and by uh, David and David Sitting on Denise Weavers. So there it was showing a change that the, the audience was affecting the dancing. The dancing wasn't as good. And the, and yet in Japan, wasn't that a different story? Yeah, it was quite a Also, in this country, Mr. Sedano's competition, there was a three-way tie for the Latin Championship. Yeah. And I don't think any couple had all yeah. firsts to one judge. I think every judge marked a different person first in whatever I don't think it's because the judges are confused. I think it's because they're trying to be fair. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Lisa? Um, the comment you <laughs> made earlier about Sometimes the choreography does not lend toward um, being able to use the, uh, the body rhythm, uh, the way you were saying. How do we go about getting um, American choreographers that will, we can uh, use American choreography to? They're not all available to us. You know, it's funny. Choreography is, it, it's, it's a knack that you have, and some of you have it, some of you know that feeling. And I think the secret to good choreography is connection 
one thing has to, it has to have what I jokingly call kazinta. One thing goes into another. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think choreography has to have that. It also has to constantly bring the characteristic of the dance into it. I think it, as often as you can get hip action in a hip action dance, or, I, I just think it has to be considered in the choreography. I was working with some of the couples last night. The choreography, as good as it was, didn't lend itself to the bolero leg action. And the choreography was not faulty, it wasn't bad, it just was not bolero leg action, bolero feeling wasn't a part of it. They were pretty steps, but they weren't allowing the couple to relax their legs. So it has to be thought of at the input. So I guess if you've been told that enough, it really should, don't, don't change anything on one comment. Y'all all learned that. One comment shouldn't throw you off of where you are, but if it's something you're hearing pretty regularly, then maybe it's something you should look at. And maybe you should ask for help with someone that you feel can help cure it. I don't know what the answer to that is. Well, maybe the partial answer to that is, is things like this. I mean, first of all, you're not going to know if you're not Commercial! <laughs> but it's really, uh, the, the death, the, one of the goals of this camp was to define the differences between American and international style and to improve both of them and to get input from people who judge both styles and working both styles. How do you styles. feel you understand, have a better understanding of the two? Definitely. What really you hope to do? Because you demonstrate it. You know. Let me also say that when you do get this knowledge, like you're uh, hopefully getting this weekend, that you will take it and input it into your own dancing. You can't depend your whole life on someone choreographing your routines and having rhythm in it. You've got to feel when you leave here that you know a little bit more about dancing. And if your part of choreography you don't think is rhythmic, then you have to do something about it. The magic ingredient in choreography is courage. You've got to have the courage to try something or to get up and do it. You tend to think that everything you do is not good enough because it's easier when someone else gives it to you. It's new, it's fresh, and you like learning. Sometimes I'll choreograph an entrance, and if it's for Linda and myself, I have the hardest time choreographing for myself. I, it's much better when I see two people and can draw a picture with two bodies. But sometimes it seems silly because I, I couldn't see it. And sometimes you have to have the courage to give something a try long enough that it starts to work, too. I was going to say something about you know, we have so many professionals here representing a good variety of, of people. How come, I don't, I'm not understanding why the big shots are, I'm saying, people who are in charge of how we do something. You're, you're complaining about putting merengue into the hairstyle, which I don't agree with also. Uh, why then are they doing it if there are so many of us who don't believe that? Why don't we vote somewhere to the point? you know? Just organizer. That doesn't include Sam. He's not just an organizer. He's an organizer who's a very involved dance coach. Okay? When you become just an organizer and just a person who's at the head of an organization, you do these lose touch with the leader. What the hell's going on? And you tend to make decisions. I know that the USBC thing has this thing of having the appease independence, Fred Astaire, Arthur Murray's, and every other little faction that, that can be. And I think that for some reason they have got it in their idea, that the, their mind that the way to preserve American style is to change the dance system. And you know what? I think American style is getting worth, worth watching now. It's not a hiding place for bad dancers anymore. Yeah, I agree. It's, 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 it's a wrong time to stop them. It's a wrong time. <laughs>
future someday. So you are a part of what this is all about. We're a part of, of why it's where it is. You're a part of where it's going. So you got to have some input too. And don't let us railroad your opinions. Your opinions are important, whatever they are. I think there's an uh, NDCA meeting in January. It's, and we, the PDF has two representatives going. Uh, we can actually have here uh, a small PDF meeting tomorrow night uh, and, and just get a little bit of a uh, feeling for, which obviously it seems to me what you want, but that we can give our representative that information. Okay, well, I want to say one more thing. Anyone has a question? Uh, we're la we're, we're, I think the best thing we can do right now is reschedule our private lesson. Uh, I don't, how do you feel? Mind, I can go to the hour until quarter after six. Sure. Okay. 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 Or 20 after. We have only until eight for practice session. Practice. We have lessons at seven. I think really, honestly, I don't know how you people feel, but um, uh, if you want, we can stay, you know, we can stay even a few more minutes. Uh, we've got some more questions here. We can we can do that. This is what camp is for. This group, okay? This group that we have here is what it's for. So, uh, how do you feel about staying even a few more minutes and answering a few more questions? Sure. One more question. Yes? One more. <laughs> Any okay. I I really think that they should have jive in the semi or all rounds because it's a dance that, you know, when you go to Europe, you do compete in, in every round. And I think, first of all, I think it's it's sort of unfair for a couple to uh, to work have to work at it and not do it, and for a couple that maybe doesn't work at it as much because they don't make the final. When they do get there, it's always going to be a weak dance for them because they haven't worked at it so much. I, I really think that the job gets sort of left behind, and I think if it's part of it, it ought to be in all around. If it's not a part of it, then we should leave it out. You know, <coughs> being an organizer of a comp, at one time I didn't have me any fault in the final, and Debbie came over to me. She said, I would go, I'm not being a She said, how come you have, don't have me any fault in the final? And I, to be honest with you, and I could judge all the time, but I said, I didn't think of it. All right, it was too late to put it in there. Of, so after she said something to me, okay, I put it in. Now, these couples have, would say to me, well, why don't we have Jive in the 12th? I put it in, but here I'm thinking, well, I want to give them a, a break, a rest, and just let them do it in the final. But if, if that was what they wanted, I myself would change it to that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I hate people interrupting. I have another question. Um, we were talking about the judges only have 10 seconds. Well, right. Everybody's going to hate my say this. That's an estimation. I, I mean, everybody's going to hate my say this. But we have to dance full songs in England. Six rounds. So why can't why don't couples have to stand school when they're here? I mean it'll give the judges all the time to evaluate their marking. Well in Ohio. I mean it's it's just gonna be the most the team good thing. in the end, yeah. You did more than the whole record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you to be honest with you, the one round I'd like to have launched is the semi final. I'll tell you what, when you're the breaker inner, being sixth out of that twelve, being the next one in can make or break what you do for the whole next year, the whole attitude. That's like winning a competition to get in that final and you get on the outside of it. In Cherry Hill in July, I turned around to the committee when the 12 was going on and they said take six, and they were giving me a minute and whatever. I turned around to the committee and I said, can I pick eight? I said, or, I mean, I mean, there are two people that I think should be in there and I have to leave them out. Well, of course, you know what they say. And this is while the competition's going on. I'm losing my 10 seconds while I'm running. <laughs> but, you know, and uh, they said, you know, no, it's the same. Of course, I knew they were going to say There's a lot of talk about the manner in which competitions yeah. are going to be held in the future. Over in Europe, they're looking into this fact of having part of the competition be a basic element in the competition, as well as uh, having med a medley of dances that you're allowed to dance solo as an exhibition. So you do get to focus on each individual couple in some manner. And that exhibition dance is, and the basic element is computed in with your total marks for the placement. So the whole thing is being still debated because of adding length to competitions because it's so many different times to dance. It hasn't been decided yet. But I sat at the judges' table in Japan taking John Monkey's place at the World Cup 
with Rudy Trout and uh, Espen Salberg and all the people that are running competitions in their own countries, um, Marcel de Wright, and they're thinking of <coughs> trying out a new format, and if it works, and introducing it as the standard way of competing so that we do have a chance to look at each one of you individually in a competition. I think it's a shame that maybe we don't start that in our country. Well, why don't we do that? Can I have your competitor? Uh, that'd be something great. That Wait, you just, <laughs> wouldn't you like to <laughs>
six years till when you're the you are in perfect form and you know you're going to be able to beat everybody by that point, then forget it. You've got to get out there. You know, there's a lot of people who say, well, we should have our technique exactly before we get out to the, to the competition floor. Forget it. Competing is part of your learning experience as far as I'm concerned. The first time I got on the floor, someone said to be a fan of the gun. <laughs>
comparison like a beautiful piece of cheesecake and black forest cake and linen meringue pie, and you choose the one you, that, that tempts you the most. It, there is some element of, of what's right and wrong involved, but we don't score you. We just simply say, I think they, for whatever reason, they're doing better than that couple. There's okay. No Rum is the dance of love. More and more routines are beginning to get very sexual and too physically descriptive. Where did the beauty <laughs> of love and romance go? Is all this really necessary? Face to face. <laughs> <laughs> he not only looked rude, but there was a big lipstick 